Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. I've got two quick storage hacks for you today. The first involves some bungee cord and some simple hardware like a cord lock, and the second one involves some nylon webbing that's fairly new to our store. These can be used for anything as small as headphone cables, just to keep them untangled, and all the way up to big gear like sleeping bags. So let's dive in. So the first of these hacks uses some small diameter bungee cord. I've got some here, only a couple feet is necessary. And then these pieces of hardware, just a simple zipper pull end. You could also use a knot if you don't have this piece. And then a cord lock. I found that the kind of the flatter oval style works best as it works as a toggle. So to explain how this works, if we have some headphones, we want to keep them from getting tangled. We can wrap this around, put the cord lock right here through the loop, and then cinch it down. That holds everything tight. So the cord lock works as the cinch and kind of the toggle for our button and loop closure. So then to take it off, just loosen it and your headphones are not tangled. The same little tool can be used to store gear on the outside of a backpack, like trekking poles or a tripod, or even used in a larger form to cinch down outside of a sleeping bag. So let's get into making one. It's really simple. All you need is a small amount of this cord And you can custom make these for your own use, depending on how long you want them. With this kind of bungee cord, since there's nylon on the outside, it's a good idea to just melt the end a little bit so we don't have it fraying on us. After you have that done, you can go ahead and stick both ends through the cord lock. Just push that down and put it through the holes. Bring that down to about the middle. And then our ends we can easily cover up with one of these zipper pull ends. Each of these zipper pull ends works a little bit differently. These ones you can just put both ends in, one to each side, and then close down the jaws over the top. And that just anchors it in place really nicely. And that's honestly all there is to this one. Really simple. Like I said, if you don't have a zipper pull end like this, you can just put a knot in the end. Like a diamond knot or a toggle knot. Anything will work pretty well just to keep your ends in place. If you don't have bungee cord, this hack also works with normal 550 paracord. Here's one that I've made. It's not going to hold things quite as tight as bungee cord since it doesn't stretch as much, but it's going to serve the same purpose pretty much just as well. You also want to make your paracord one a little bit longer than you would a bungee cord one because you won't be able to stretch it around your object. The second hack is just about as easy as the first, though it's really designed for larger applications. You can use it for a sleeping bag or on molly webbing on a tactical or hunting backpack or any other gear of that sort. This one uses one inch wide nylon webbing and just a buckle. This one is special though because it has two bars on each end. That means it's designed for webbing rather than paracord. So to start off this one, we're just gonna take one end of that webbing. The strap just has to be however long you need it for your specific application. Bring it up through that first bar and then down through that second one. Just like that. And then we're just going to loop around the strap to the other side and do exactly the same thing. You can then adjust that strap to whatever length you want. And then just cut off any extra that you have. Remelt it with lighter to keep it from fraying and you're good to go. So to illustrate how this one works, I've got a large military style bag and a small utility pouch. So this pouch actually has some straps built into it. So it has these snap downs that just kind of thread through the webbing on the backpack side. This is Molly webbing, by the way, for those that are unfamiliar. It's just this webbing that goes across and it's stitched every so often. Um, and it's just kind of a standardized design, makes joining two pieces of gear pretty easy. So if it didn't have these straps, that would just go down through the, the similar webbing on the backpack side. We could use our little strap that we just made, thread it up through one side, and attach it to the backpack that way. So now this ends up being a much sturdier strap than the one that even came with it, with the snaps. Both of these hack ideas were actually designed for that Molly system that I just showed you, but they have a variety of uses. If you want to try it for yourselves, take a look in the description where we put links to these products. If you have any other hack ideas, definitely let us know in the comments 
and we'll consider them for future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.